Hi, I'm Matt Lanier with Yaskawa. In this video, I'm going to cover manually setting the speed reference and run command on the GA800 drive. Yaskawa. Setting the speed reference and run command on the GA800 industrial drive is quick and easy. However, you must understand these parameters to set them correctly so they function as intended. The B101 parameter defines the frequency reference for the drive. The frequency reference determines the output frequency of the drive. More simply, it determines how fast it will spin the motor. The drive has five different ways to input a frequency reference. Setting 0 is the keypad. Setting 1 is an analog input, 0 to 10 volts or 4 to 20 milliamps. By default, the drive looks for a frequency reference from the analog input A1. Setting 2 uses Memobus slash Modbus. Setting 3 uses a communication option card, such as an Ethernet card. Setting 4 uses a pulse train input from a device such as a PLC. B102 is easier. It defines where the drive will receive its run command. The run command tells the drive to output frequency, spinning the motor. The run command can come from a switch, button, or one of the various communication methods. There are four options. Setting 0 is the keypad. Setting 1 is a digital input, such as switches or buttons. Setting 2 is Memobus slash Modbus and setting 3 is the communication option card, such as the Ethernet card, to receive commands over a network. Next is the control circuit wiring diagram for the GA800. We will focus on this section. S1 through S8 create switched connections for various functions such as start, stop, and fault reset. Terminals plus V, A1, A2, a3 and AC are for frequency reference inputs. Terminal plus V is a 10 volt and 20 milliamp source for devices such as potentiometers and pressure transducers. AC is the analog input common. A1 is the first of three multifunction analog inputs. A1 is the default setting for the master frequency reference. Connect a speed reference device that uses voltage to terminals AC and A1. If using a speed reference device that uses current, connect to AC and A2. In addition, if the product has the drive setup wizard, it will tell you what connections to make for several different configurations. We have covered B101, B102, and the control circuit wiring diagram from the manual pages. Now let us look at the B parameter group in the keypad menu. Navigating to the B parameter group is very simple. Use the keypad to navigate to the B application parameter menu and press enter. Use the keypad to scroll through the options. Select the option needed for the application and press enter. Now that we have covered B101 and B102 and the connections, I want to walk through what to do if you get a blinking run light after you press run. Let's say you have just completed an installation and you are ready to test the motor. You press run and the run light just blinks. Do not be alarmed. This is most likely due to the drive not receiving a frequency reference or the reference is simply set at 0 Hz. Set the keypad as the frequency reference and run source by pressing the LORE key. The frequency reference source will change at the top of the keypad and the LORE key light will illuminate. From the home screen, press enter. This takes you to the reference 1 screen. Use the arrow keys to enter a frequency of 6 Hz. Press Enter. 
then press run. The drive run light should go solid and the motor will spin. If you are using an external frequency reference and the LORE LED is off, indicating remote run control, increase the frequency or signal and see if the drive begins to spin the motor. If this does not work, you need to check the reference signal wiring. Use the connection and input-output diagrams to verify the signal wiring. If the reference signal is voltage and uses two wires, verify which wires are signal and common. Make sure the signal wire connects to A1 and the common to AC. Once you have verified the wiring, try running the motor again. If the reference signal uses current, check the wiring to verify it is correct. Make sure the signal wire connects to A2 and the common to AC. Second, check the dip switches on the drive control board. S11 by default is voltage for terminal A1. S12 by default is current for terminal A2. S13 by default is voltage for terminal A3. Once you have verified the dip switch settings and wiring, try running the motor again. As you can see, setting the speed reference and run command is a quick and simple process once you understand the parameters and the connections. I also covered what to do in case the run light just blinks when you attempt to run the drive. I hope this video helps you at your next service call or installation. As always, check back with us or be notified of new videos by signing up in the link below in the video details. Also, leave any comments you may have and let us know what will help you with your Yaskawa products. Thanks for watching.